Question number 13 is another beautiful format from rotational dynamics and related to moment of inertia. From a solid sphere of mass m and radius r, a cube of maximum possible volume is cut. So that goes a bit tricky. It goes three dimensionally. So if I want to bring out a cube of maximum possible volume, now that three dimensional figure has to be compromised a bit. But one thing is very true. You can do it by imagination. This and this, of course, would be the longest diagonal and that itself would be equals to the diameter of the sphere. That's how we can bring out a maximum possible volume in the form of cube out of a sphere. So if I say E as the side of the cube, then quite obviously you could easily find out how much is the mass M dash in terms of M. Of course, the distribution is volumetric. So I'll go with m dash by m would be equals to a cube by 4 by 3 pi r cube where we need to see how much is the value of a and that's quite simple because the longest diagonal is root 3 times a and that would be equals to twice of r so this would give me the value of m dash and I need to calculate the moment of inertia of the cube about an axis passing through the center and perpendicular to one of the faces. So that would be m dash is the mass a square by 6. Plugging out the value of a in terms of r and m dash in terms of m, I'll be getting option number a as the answer. So that was about question number 13. We'll proceed to question number 14 now. Question number 14 is from experimental physics and the famous experiment of measurement and determination of the value of G using simple pendulum. The period, that's a formula that's very clearly known. Measured value of length is 20.01 centimeter known to 1 millimeter accuracy and time for 100 oscillation is 90 second. We need to calculate the accuracy in G. So, g comes out to be 4 pi square L by T square and using the concept delta G by G is delta L by L plus 2 delta T by T where T is the time period while 90 second is the time but we know that the fractional error in time period would be the fractional error in time. So all I need to do is that put delta T as 1 second, T as 90 second, L as 20 centimeter, delta L as 1 millimeter and multiply by 100 percent then I'll be getting the answer which would be option number 4. So now let's go to question number 15.